let's create our first pipeline. In this case, we'll be creating pipeline going from S3 bucket into S3 bucket. So let's log in. And first of all, make sure we do have our bucket. I already created one. Its name is uh, Anton Demo HL7 to fire. Just copy that. I also created three uh, folders, inbound, outbound, and folder uh, for errors. You don't have to pre-create all of them, but it might be a good idea to do. So, and let's create our first transformation pipeline. Our first transformation pipeline would be named Anton Demo, uh, type HL7v2 to fire, input credentials, we need to create one. So uh, I have a couple here, let's convert them, and the key, and the secret, and call it Anton Cloud. Okay, credentials successfully created. Now let's get our S3 bucket. So inbound location would be S3 bucket slash in. We can test it right away to make sure that credentials works against the bucket. Uh, we can optionally, but I would highly recommend to do so, specify the error bucket. Okay, let's test it. Uh, and instead of health lake, let's specify S3 bucket, use the same credentials, and the location would be out. And again, we can test it to make sure everything is smooth. Now then we're done, let's click save. You can see that transformation is in appended state, and it might take up to 20 seconds or so until the transformation reach the right states, but in the meantime, let's just drop a few files into inbound folder. The three HL7 messages, we can just drop them in. Click upload. And close this window. Messages are already gone, that means our pipeline is running and actively processing the messages. So go back to the root of the bucket. We probably would see a few messages here in our bound folder. And yes, uh, they are here with the fire extension. If you'll download them, you would see the JSON content of the messages. So our Anton demo pipeline is in live state. It processed three messages and created 27 fire resources uh, based on that. Let's simulate the error. To simulate the error, we can drop something uh, totally non HL7 like a screenshot in there. Okay, let's upload our screenshot. Close, it would disappear in a few seconds. There it goes, and if we'll switch back and hit refresh here, you would see that we now have error indicated that one of the messages that we've tried to process is invalid. We can look at the detail of these messages and so on. So right away in less than five minutes you have your S3 to S3 pipeline taking in HL7v2 output in fire in your own AWS account using InterSystems HealthShare Message Transformation Service.